I make it as a product, but I also make it with um, DMSO. I heard uh, that. I hadn't well. thought about trying that. I watched a video of yours earlier on. I thought, I'm going to try that. That's interesting. It, it is fascinating because DMSO applied topically is also transdermal. Yes. So you'll get that itch. And, and so you get both of them separate will give you the itch. But when you put them together, they're not irritating. Yes. And that, that itch does pass awesome. over time. It, it stops itching in a while. Yes, it's true. It does. Mm. And it also depends on your uptake speed and there's some yeah. other factors involved. But yeah. for the most part, yeah, at the beginning, it's terrible. Like when I would spray it on, on my daughter, she'd complain for the first while. And then after mm. a while, she stopped complaining. It stopped bothering her. Mm. So I, I applied the, the DMSO, I poured it in my belly button, let it soak in. I find that's the best way to get it in real quick. Very interesting. Yeah, use it as a reservoir, <laughs> a little well, lake. It, it is, but also inside there, it's connected to all the blood supply that's there from when you had the the, um, umbilical cord there and it will be in your system. I can taste it within 15, 20 seconds. That's right. And that's right. That's how you know you're absorbing it because the way that it affects the nervous system. So for me, that was the very quickest way. And when I'm doing my breathing exercises after I've had a shower and stuff, lie down and just, it it soaks in and then it's, it's done and it works a treat. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. And, Mm -hmm. you know, you do want to take breaks if people are, you know, have learned about DMSO and they are using it regularly. Mm -hmm. Um, I did write about it in my book and I was just saying that the DMS, which is one of the breakdown products of DMSO can linger a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. And after about a month or so, just take a couple of days off just to allow the remaining DMS to um, finish off its metabolism and and Mm -hmm. be removed from the, by the body. And then you can continue back on again. And yeah. uh, what I found is taking the weekend off because it's kind of easy to remember then is I put it on during the week and the weekend, I just don't. Yeah, perfect. Whatever yeah. works for you, right? That's right. Yeah, everyone finds the way yeah. with it. And that will assist. Well, we you should as well. talk about DMSO actually because that was where we started about an hour and a half back. <laughs> well, you were talking about, you know, how medicines come from plants and all the original. Yes. Medicine. So this is no different. This is from tree. This is tree medicine. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of beautiful tree medicines, and this is one of them. And it's ultimately what would make a, a tree stand strong and upright. Mm-hmm. And when they when they want to take the tree and make it into pulp to make paper and other things, then I used to that... be in the pulp industry. Funnily enough, really. Yeah. So you knew about the the white liquor and the yeah. the washing the, of it. And it's from the sulfate pulping process, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> exactly. So that's like a, basically a waste product of that industry. And so it's cheap, cheap enough to sell off. Yeah. And then um, it has to be refined further to make sure that the elements of the white liquor are not present because that's yeah. not, you know, so it's the extra, the way it's extracted. Hmm. Um, and, and yeah, it's transdermal. It's in a liquid format. It has very special characteristics. Mm-hmm. And um, the industry, the medical industry was interested in it because it was cryopreserving. So it would actually mm-hmm. preserve tissue for organ transplants. And uh, so Stanley Jacob was studying it based on that because that's what he was doing research on. Mm -hmm. Um, Of course, you get the same saga story for anything that has wonderful healing properties. You get the FDA coming in and, you know, shutting it down and making it illegal and threatening your life and taking away your research and all these sorts of things Mm -hmm. uh, because they really care about your health. Um, So they, um, they had to stop research for a little while and then they got back on with it and it it's really actually quite well studied when I, so this is why I was so shocked when, yeah. you know, me going through naturopathy. Well, there's college, thousands and thousands of studies on it. Thousands. I, yeah. I, I was, I was amazed. I couldn't yeah. even read them all. There'd be no, no way I, to read them all. I, I had to skim some. I had to, I was just, but I read the first, all the original studies. Um, and they had basically, they had um, a, a, a conference Mm-hmm. So all the all the researchers who had been researching DMSO and doing studies got together in New York and mm-hmm. had um, shared all their research and that got compiled into a book and I bought that book. Um, but you can also get a free PDF. You can find it online as well. And it has all the original. So I read that and I was just mind blown. And that's when I came on and did a video and talked about it. And I was so excited because I had started to use it and I was getting really fascinating results. And Mm -hmm. I love things like that, that are so simple and elegant and yet effective in so many different realms of the body. And that is still my best performing video that isn't to do with political stuff or anything. The MSO one is always the one that gets the most views. Yes. And I think because intuitively people know that this is something that they can afford and also that they can use for so many different things in their lives. And Um, and so once we present it, and that was the same with me, it was a top performing 
video. And that's what got me the uh, Ulysses Press interested in, in me mm -hmm. writing a book about it um, was from all of that uh, information. And so, yeah, and, and, and now I started blending it and making um, uh, combination remedies with that's it. That's a as really well interesting thing to do. Yeah. But it makes sense. Well, well, being chemically minded, meaning like I was always very alchemist in my nature. I always mm -hmm. was understanding how things worked well together in the synergy of them. And, you know, even with cooking and things, right? You're, that's alchemist. Mm -hmm. You can think of it like that. And what goes together and what belongs together. And um, so I started to use it in skincare and it, <laughs> it enhances what you <laughs> put it with, right? Yeah. So I'm getting all these results from, from my facelift in a jar uh, people's like aging, reversing their aging of 10 years. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's, and, and then I started doing an eye drops and people are like reversing their cataracts and they don't need the surgery yeah. anymore. And, and these sorts of things, I mean, it's stopping heart attacks and strokes was where I first started. I was like, how, wait a, wait a second. <laughs> the stroke thing is what, what struck me. I, I couldn't believe that that would be ignored. Exactly. Exactly. That's where you get a red flag and you're like, okay, but if it could stop an ischemic stroke, that should be common knowledge in hospitals. The doctor should know they should be telling your patients that. So you obviously know there's an agenda to keep yeah. that away. And that's what made me go deeper into it. So anything where I know it's being hidden, I'm like, I'm going to go right in. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. Or if it's taboo, like urine therapy, it's taboo. Oh, it's, oh, yeah, I'm really? going in. Yeah. <laughs> Let me in. The coffee enemas. I got to do that. I got to know yeah. about that. Right. Cause, but the DMSO hmm. now, I mean, I can't tell you that the, the stories and the results I've had from, from people who, <laughs> we're just dying really. I mean, mm -hmm. it's even, there's even a cancer therapy that where you use DMSO with MSM, it's derivative yeah. together in, in quite decent doses. And mm -hmm. uh, really it just upregulates all your um, glutathione processes and your detox of the blood yeah. and will assist the body to um, just self-regulate because you don't need to go and mess around again with like the little end finery all mm -hmm. you need to do is clean it up and the body will just right. heal it the rest anyway. It knows what to do. All you've got to do it is help it. You know, when I, when That's I what wrote, I'm saying. When I, when yeah. I wrote my book about health, uh, which is an ongoing work as I keep learning more so people get updated by it or from it, I, I send out an update and say, right, I've changed this now. Here's the change log and all the rest of it. When I was doing all the work in that, I'm going to lose my train of thought. Damn, 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 damn. No, you well, carry on. It's gone. It'll come back at some point. Well, just, you know, with the DMSO and all of these different nuances and how yes. we're, we're yeah. using yeah. the, and, and what it can heal and the results, you know, that I was saying like, yeah. I was just getting fantastic feedback from people and yet something so simple and something so elegant. Mm -hmm. And that if they could, um, like I actually slammed my finger in, in the door, uh, last year mm -hmm. and I ripped it out of the door because it was a reaction. I just mm -hmm. pulled it. I shouldn't have, cause it went all the way. I actually don't even know which hand it, I don't even know what hand I did it in. That's how healed it is. I, yeah. I think maybe whatever, but anyway, I mm -hmm. slammed it. And so I immediately ran in and I had a paper towel and I soaked it in 99.995% mm -hmm. DMSO. And I wrapped it around. I was in so much pain mm -hmm. and I just actually came here in my chair and I just held it and with it on there. And I sat there and I just did like some energy work on it. Mm -hmm. And um, and I took um, as well homeopathic aconitum, which is for shock. So, cause I felt like I was in a shock state and I could, I actually, after about a certain amount of time, not long, maybe 10 minutes, I could feel the pain just lift kind of like a cloud. And then it was gone and it was pain-free. And I just went about my day and did what I was doing and it was broken. It was broken and ripped and it healed within a week completely with no scar. No, I had a little bump, but I had yeah. a little bump that's gone too now from it. That was it. Um, so the fact that you can have something and apply it, like I, I, I couldn't have plants at that point. It wasn't plants available. I would have done, you know, um, plantain or comfrey or something on there to just to pull out the excess heat, but I didn't yeah. need to with the DMSO. It was just that easy. Well, so. I, it's, it's one of the things I, I, I carry, I worked out and said, right, what are the things I could carry with me when I travel or when I go places that I should always have nearby? One is DMSO in a small bottle. I have it in a sock, so it's not exposed to the light. It's in a glass bottle. Two is I have a little spray bottle with some magnesium oil in it. And three is I have some colloidal silver. And with those things, I can handle most of the emergencies when I'm out and about. You don't need much else. No, you really don't. You have your urine if you need it for other things. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, I make colloidal silver. I've been making colloidal silver for many, many years. Actually, yeah. my good friend who's who's passed away now, but Bruce McBurney, he was the one who introduced me to colloidal silver mm -hmm. back 
in, I think right before naturopathic college. Yeah. And uh, he would just hand out bottles. He would just make it and hand out bottles yeah. to people and say, yeah. you know, if, you know, you won't be disappointed and here, you know, here's what you use it for and stuff. And, yeah. and he I, taught me about colloidal gold and copper yeah. and all these other things as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah ladies if you want to see some interesting things with your skin call it a copper spray will do that yes it's fantastic you yeah. have to you know um i love copper actually i i actually have copper bracelets i encourage yeah. at least you're getting some sort of topical copper it's another one of those minerals that is deficient in a lot of people yeah um and uh so if we just fix the food and fix right. um, these little things then you'll be able fix to the get toxins. your health back yeah fix the toxic issue and make sure you can eliminate toxins and we'll maybe step into that next mm -hmm. and then fix the deficiencies and have things like DMSO. Every house should have DMSO in it yeah. for emergencies. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you a quick story. I was working on an engine and I think I'm like you, I can't remember which finger it was. I think it may have been this one. And I had, it was on the top of the turbocharger wastegate, but it was, it was face down. So there's a metal bar, thin metal bar and I had a big breaker bar and I dropped it. And it hit my finger and the metal bar went straight through my nail and hit the bone. Mm. So I was like, okay, that's covered in engine oil and all sorts of crap. So I put peroxide on it, which put me through the roof. And I looked at it and I thought, I don't want to lose the nail and I've got stuff to do. So I, I, um, when I cleaned it up again with some urine, I then put some uh, tissue paper and, and super glue to create some structure to hold it. And then mm -hmm. I got a small glass bowl with DMSO in it. And I let my finger in there for about four hours while I was, I just had it on my desk while I was working the stuff. And it stopped throbbing within about half an hour. Like you said, the pain just suddenly goes and it was completely yeah. healed. I didn't lose the nail, no other damage, nothing. Within a week, I didn't even know it was there. Yeah. 